Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fulton Street Beats. I am glad that you decided to tune in for this episode because what we have here is a really, really cool double neck guitar. And this double neck guitar was sent over from Brandon's Custom Shop. Now, if you haven't checked out Brandon's Custom Shop, I'm going to put a link in the description below. I suggest you go do that because he seems to have some very cool guitars at some very budget prices. And it's a case where, well, you're getting um, a lot for the money. And um, I bought a few guitars from him already, and I've been satisfied with them so far. And he was kind enough to send me over this one for a review, and I wanted to show it off. Um, now, this guitar, my choice of colors. And I said, Brandon, send me the gold one, because I thought, you know, the red has been so overdone, and I wanted something a little more, I don't know, um, 60s, 70s, you know, a little little different vibe to it, and uh, I think it pulls it off quite well. Now, this guitar is really nice. I've been over with a fine-tooth comb. Now, is it Gibson quality? Well, in a lot of ways, it's better than Gibson, and in a lot of ways, it's not. Of course, you know, it's, it's hit or miss with Gibson. So, I don't want to do the Gibson comparison. I'm trying not to do that. What I'm trying to do is tell you what this guitar is for the price tag. And this guitar, I believe, comes in at right around $500. I'm going to leave the price here on the screen. And um, if it changes or I'm wrong, I apologize. However, let's talk about this guitar. First of all, definitely a beautiful mahogany body. Gold sparkle. Really nice finish. Um, guitars lately, when they come through, have blemishes. And um, some big, some little. For instance, not that this is a comparison, the Gibson SG uh, standard that came through here was a very highly blemished guitar. As a matter of fact, there wasn't a place on that guitar you could look that didn't have a blemish. Now, this, on the other hand, you got to look really, really hard to find a blemish. And let's face it, if a guitar doesn't look good, well, it gives a bad taste in your mouth right away. Now, the Brandon Custom Shop guitars, well, you can find blemishes if you look hard enough, as with any guitar, for the money are really, really nice. This is a lot of guitar for the price tag, and it has a beautiful fretboard. The frets are very nicely done on this guitar, both on the 12-string side and the 6-string string side. It has really, really nice inlays, and it's just the overall appearance is nice. Now, what something that Brandon does is he his guitars are not logoed. It doesn't have a Gibson headstock. What I think it has a very symmetrical, nice, aesthetically pleasing headstock. But the thing is, these guitars come with Grover tuners on the back. That's right. They have Grover tuners. And that's pretty cool also. Now, they do the trick and they do hold tune. Um, now, the only issue I had with this guitar out of the box is it had a broken high E string. No problem. I hope if you have, if you love guitars, you have some strings laying around. Now, speaking of strings, you may want to have a lot of strings laying around because this is a 12-string on this side, and it sounds nice. Tuning is a breeze once you get used to it. They're just close, you know, and um, it's pretty much your standard tuning that you're going to run across, but just with each string, and, and uh, it sounds fantastic. The hardware on this is really easy to string up because, well, they just kind of slip in. They don't slide through anything. They slip in the bottom and goes over your uh, your regular bridge. And up to the top, your intonation on this guitar. This is intonated very well. I didn't expect it to be, because most guitars um, come where you need a little intonation. This one uh, was almost spot on, exception of a couple strings, but close enough that you'd never know. So that was pretty cool. Pickup height seems to be set fine. Um, I'm not going to mess with it, because it sounds good. It does sound good. I haven't dove into the electronics yet. We'll do that in another episode uh, when we restring this guitar. Now, I'm not going to restring the 12-string, because, well, it's Frankly, it's a pain in the butt because of so many strings. But we are going to do the six-string side, and when we do that, we'll pull out the pickups and see exactly what's in there. But I will tell you, they sound really good, and they sound apart. I'm not getting any crazy unwanted hum feedback, nothing from them. Everything is wired correctly. It does have nice gold speed knobs on it, and it's very aesthetically pleasing. If we look at the back, the back is the same way. Very nicely done. Very, very nice guitar. Now, this is thicker than your standard SG, as you know, most uh, Chinese-made guitars are. Yes, this is a Chinese-made guitar. How this works is 
Brandon's custom shop designs these guitars kind of the way he wants them, sends it over to China to a manufacturer, and they send them back at his specifications. And that's how it works, and he's able to pass the savings on to you. So if something's not quite right, you're not quite happy, let Brandon know, and he could change it up for you, definitely. Um, his website usually carries a large variety of guitars. Um, I actually had like a Zach Wilde style, Les Paul style, but changed a little bit. It wasn't, it wasn't the same. It had a cooler headstock, in my opinion, and it was an outstanding guitar with AMGs in it, and it was a nice guitar. It played great. I ended up getting rid of that guitar. Um, then I had a beautiful P90 guitar that, man, was just so beautiful in a pastel blue. I'll try to find a picture of that and put that on screen. Love that guitar. Such a beautiful, beautiful guitar. And um, that's what I'm finding with his guitars. Now, if you're expecting perfection from any guitar, you're probably going to have a, you know, you're going to pay a lot, a lot of money for perfection in today's day and age. However, if you're expecting a really nice guitar um, for a really economical price, Brandon's Custom Shop is the way to go for sure because you are getting a lot for the money. Where can you buy a really nice double nut neck that sounds good and plays good? And neck on this 61. We're going to say call it 61 on both sides. 61 SG uh, style neck. That's what it feels like to me. That's what it feels like compared to my other SGs. So we're just going to roll with that, and that's what we're going to say it is. And it requires no fret. Uh, no, it had no uh, fret work that needed to be done. I did have to t tweak the um, truss rod just a touch on the, the not the 12 string side, but the six string side. And a lot of that's preference from where I like my my uh, action to be. So I tweaked the truss rod and I set the bridge just a little bit to get that down to that one 1.2 millimeter mark. And that's where we are on our six string side. And it appears that the 12 string side is already about to that. I haven't measured it actually, but it appears to be about that right now. All the switches work. They feel very solid. Very, very solid. I hope but you can hear that. Just very solid sounding switches on both sides. It feels good in the hands. It's a heavy, heavy guitar. Um, I'll put the weight here on the screen. Um, but uh, it's a very, it's a heavy guitar, of course, because it's a double neck. Now, is it's not heavier than my acrylic gem was, but nonetheless, it's still a heavy guitar. So, um, sitting playing this is really nice. This is actually a comfortable guitar to sit and play with, believe it or not. Um, it's just nice, and you can do a transfer back and forth very nice and easily. Very nice and easy. You can you can go back and forth on the neck. Um, you can get more and more fluid. I've been having a ball with this guitar, and um, as you can see by a little bit of that intro, and we'll do a little outro too, but um, having a ball with this guitar, and it sounds fun, but the best thing about this guitar, it just makes you feel good to look at if you are a guitar enthusiast this is a very inexpensive way of enjoying yourself it sounds good it plays good it looks good what more can you want i'm gonna give you guys some close-up pictures maybe some close-up videos of this we're gonna hear this thing again on the outro and uh you guys if you haven't head over to bring this custom shop check out what he has tell him that fulton street beats has sent you and if you look below in the description, you guys are going to receive, since you made it this far into the video, you guys are going to receive a little uh, discount on the guitar. That's right. I have a link to give you a little bit of a discount on the guitar below. So use that code in your checkout with Brandon's Custom Shop, and I hope that helps you out because, man, it would help me out, right? We all like discounts, so discounts are cool. Now, to put this in a little more perspective before I go... I don't like to recommend a lot of things or do a lot of sponsored videos or anything like that unless I really do like the product. And I can say that that Brandis Custom Shop has always treated me, you know, really good. And um, the things that I've bought from him have always been really satisfactory, really, really well. I don't want to say perfect because, man, I have a hard time finding a perfect guitar. I really do. Um, with any brand, high end, low end, any brand. But I'm going to say they are exceptional. And I don't want to even say for the money. They're an exceptional guitar, and they do everything that you need it to do. So with that, I'm going to leave you. Guys, remember to hit that like button, share, subscribe, and as always, it is rock and roll that makes the world do that twirly thing. Now let's head into that outro. Thanks, guys. Peace. Bye.